So the big news last week was this Facebook whistleblower. I have some thoughts. First things first, I think it's important to point out, I'm not exactly sure what whistle was being blown in this case. Um, the teenage body image problem, uh, the teenage depression problem, the teenage problem of comparing yourself to others and feeling bad, that has been with humanity for as long as humanity has ever existed. It is indeed part of the human condition. And before Facebook, it was Teen Vogue. It was glossy magazines. It was TV. Um, it was everything. Uh, it, it is a problem. It's not a problem that should be ignored. Parents should have the tools uh, they need and the transparency they need to be able to prevent it and deal with their kids. But I kept seeing headlines over and over again from the media that said something along the lines of, you can't even tell the difference between Democrats and Republicans on this issue. It's like everybody's mad at big tech and they're all on the same page. No, we're not. We're not on the same page. It's important to distinguish how Republicans think about this and how Democrats think about this. And to the extent that Republicans have been messaging this the same way Democrats have, they should stop because you're giving Democrats the opening they need to open Pandora's box to censorship and stop social media as we know it, which by the way is what gives conservatives such a big advantage against the mainstream vid media. So here's how we think about it differently. The left thinks Facebook is a threat. Ever since 2016, ever since Trump won in 2016, Facebook is a threat to the left. Why? Because it allows us to talk to each other, allows us to make our points heard. Um, they want more control and they're using this whistleblower uh, as a way to justify that control, to justify that censorship. Because they're like, what do conservatives care about? Conservatives care about kids being bullied. Uh, so let's try and make them agree with us on this. But here's the thing, it's a pretty short step from saying, look, we need to protect your kids from bullying. We need to protect your kids from seeing things that they shouldn't see. It's a pretty short step from that to, we need to protect you, the, citizens, the citizenry, from misinformation. We need to protect you from things that are untrue, from misinformation. We need to help you get fact-checked. Uh, we need to help you know what is correct. See, it's a pretty short step. Here's how else you know that this Facebook whistleblower is disingenuous. Uh, first of all, big Democrat donor, okay? First of all, uh, associated with a lot of the Democrat operatives, the mainstream ones that you would know, um, including um, Jen Psaki's previous firm. Um, the other thing about it, was, which was interesting, was when asked what we should do about this, she never offered up some kind of change to regulation, regulation that would be applied neutrally, not dependent on what kind of uh, politics you're from. She basically said that she should be in charge. I mean, her, her words exactly was, you, you, you need a, a department in the executive branch, a regulation oversight body that looks directly over these social media companies. And, so, and then she said, so someone like me could be in charge of it and basically tell them what to do. That's not neutrally applied law, okay? That's just giving the Democrats what they want to be able to make social media companies do what they want and we cannot fall for it. This was a big trick played on everybody and I think we need to recognize, as, recognize it as such. See, when conservatives complain about social media, yeah, there's bipartisan outrage, but for totally different reasons. Conservatives want less censorship and even the conservatives that have, I, I, I think, been messaging this wrong, uh, we still fall on the same place when it comes to policy. And that policy is taking a scalpel to Section 230 and making sure that liability protections are removed when social media companies are deliberately biased against someone for, say, their political beliefs or other things. That's the kind of reforms we need. It's less censorship, not more.